Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about how to end a roleplay. There comes a time for every roleplay that we have to end it. Maybe something has happened and your life got busy. Maybe you're bored with that particular roleplay and want room for new things. Or maybe you've reached the natural conclusion to the end of the story. No matter what the reason, all roleplays must end. So how do we do it? No matter the reason we want to end the roleplay, we should start by asking ourselves, should we end the roleplay and why? Accepting something has come to an end is difficult for most people. So that's why the first step is examining that ending and what our motivations are for it. It can be tempting to keep going forever, even when you know you're not going to prioritize that role play over other activities in your life, or you know the story has ended, but you just love that setting and character so much that you want to keep going. So what I'm here to tell you today is that endings are good for you. Ending a role play frees up your time for new role plays. And if you can plot and plan the ending of a role play, it'll feel satisfying and you'll feel accomplished. And just because you've ended a specific role play, it doesn't mean that you have to stop role playing with that character or with that partner. You just need a new plot and world to play in. That's all. The end is simply a chance for a new once upon a time. So once you've searched within yourself and you know the end of the role play is coming, the first thing you need to do is tell your partner. Now, because you've spent time thinking about this, you'll know at your core if the reason you want to end the role play has something to do with you, your partner, or something that's circumstantial that's not in control of either of you. And depending on what this is, it's going to color exactly how you end that role play. But no matter what, the best thing is always going to be to tell your partner. Now, it can be really tempting to explain to your partner in detail why you're ending the role play. But depending on what that why is, that might not be appropriate. If you want to potentially role play with this person in the future, and if the reason has more to do with you or circumstances, then it can be good to give a quick why, especially if you can do this without it turning into a pity party about you, then yeah, absolutely tell them why. However, if the reason that you're ending the role play has to do with them, or you know you're not going to role play with them again, why might not be appropriate. You might be thinking now, hey, but constructive criticism is helpful. And you're right, it is. But the problem is that most people are not equipped to give good constructive criticism. And even if you are, if your partner doesn't want to hear it, it doesn't matter how good at giving that constructive criticism that you are. Besides, in that situation, why do they care what you think? You're leaving them. You should weigh the circumstances of if you're going to give that why or not before you approach your partner, because if you don't give it, what's going to happen is for a lot of people, they'll ask. Now I would recommend do not give someone a why just because they asked for it. Think of it like dating. Say you went on a date with someone and you two didn't click. And the main reason is because you think the other person's breath stank. You might think, oh, they should know this so that they don't scare off potential future good dates. And you might be right, but you might be wrong too. They might have a medical condition where they literally can't help their putrid breath. And maybe there's people in the world who don't care about breath that would like this person a lot. You don't know. And you're never going to go on a date with this person again. So you need to consider if this person hearing that from you is really the best way for them to receive that information. So I don't want to totally scare you off of giving constructive criticism. There are times when you definitely can, but you need to keep in mind if your constructive criticism is actually going to help or if it's just going to hurt that person's feelings. Because remember, at the end of the day, we're all just playing pretend on the internet. Okay, so we've talked about how to end a role play, which is essentially think about why you're doing it and then communicate with your partner that you're ending it. But not only is deciding if something should end hard, communicating that is really hard too. So you might be thinking, I just want to skip all that and ghost. Should you? Ghosting is something that is super prevalent in roleplay, just like any online community. And also just like any online community, complaining about ghosting is super prevalent. 
if you can avoid ghosting, you should, because many people are going to find it highly offensive. And it's better for you to tell people if you can. It's just, it's nicer and kinder and just helps you feel better about the ending too. However, the flip side is also true. A major reason for some people about why they ghost is because when they try not to ghost, they end up getting harassed or chewed out by the person that they're trying to communicate with. Or worse, the person tries to beg them to stay in a role play they don't want to keep. If you've ever heard someone say no, and not wanted to take no for an answer, you're contributing to the ghosting problem. And ghosting is just as prevalent as people not being able to take no for an answer. So when is it appropriate to ghost? When a real life emergency comes up, if you have to, ghost. Go take care of your real life emergency and come back when you're ready. For the most part, people will forgive you in those instances and welcome you back so long as it's not a repeated thing. When your role play partner starts making you feel nervous to the point that you don't think you're safe, in that case, ghost, and you should probably block them too. There's nothing in role play that's worth your safety. If you tell someone you want to end a role play and they won't take no for an answer or they demand you telling them why when you're uncomfortable with doing so, then it's appropriate to ghost. You don't owe anyone an explanation, and that person demanding it is asking more of you than you want to give in that case. So when it comes to ghosting, I don't think anyone's bad for ghosting. However, we have to understand that a lot of people will find it offensive. And even the most ghost-friendly role players aren't going to tolerate you ghosting them and coming back and ghosting them and coming back over and over again. Everyone has a limit. If you find yourself ghosting a lot, I recommend diving in. Next time you want to end a role play, communicate. Start now and it's going to get easier with time. And just know that if someone isn't taking your no for an answer, then it's perfectly okay to ghost. So what are y'all's tips for ending a role play? And also, I'm really curious as to how you feel about ghosting. Let me know down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.